curious you guys will have more options. Yeah. 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 I got the ride from the coaches that the players that are pretty excited about what we have. Yeah. We think they're going to be pretty good. I get that same vibe uh, as it should, yeah. yeah. Why do you think? Why, why do you feel good about the Oh. Uh, First off, I think playing in the NIT kind of got that sour taste out of our mouth. He kind of gave us a little boost. Even though we didn't win it, we made it to the Final Four. He gave us a little boost going into this season. And then, as you know, obviously having Tyler come back, and the whole starting five, um, Kamari, Isaac Lindsay, um, and then everyone else on the bench pretty much came back. So you have the whole team back. And then, um, you guys, you know, the coaches just don't bring in anyone. They bring in guys that they can help. And that's what I think they did with all these four freshmen, AJ, um, which is we're trying to score a little bit more this year, play a little bit faster. And I think those guys all kind of fit that mold into playing a little bit faster. And obviously, we all know we need to score a little more points if we want to be competitive. So. Talk about the NIT tournament. I yeah. mean, it was kind of a, an ascension for you getting yeah. an opportunity to score. Yeah. I know it's not where you wanted to end up, but in a way, was it a blessing in disguise kind of helping um, you in that area? Yeah, no, for sure. Like I said, I'm super glad we played it because I think, what was it, we lost to Ohio State and yeah. that would have been the season. So I think just to get that sour taste out of our mouth and for all of us all out there, I think all of us as a whole group played pretty well. Chucky had a big game. Tyler played really well. So just to get that taste out of our mouth and like I told him, just to get a boost going into the season, kind of knowing what we have. And that everyone's coming back. So. Yeah. Last season, at times, you chided yourself on potentially being able to finish better. Yeah. How have you kind of worked through that this off season and trying to work yeah. in that area? Um, just getting stronger. I think that's for everyone. Just uh, getting stronger um, is the big thing, and then just working on it too. Just drilling it, doing different drills, and finishing, finishing through bags. Coaches have done a great job of that. So I think those are the two big things that are hopefully going to really help translate to games. In terms of maturity, I mean, we've seen you got a couple of developing guys that were already on the roster. Yeah. With the bigs. You also have some young guys. Mm -hmm. What have you kind of seen from the overall group in terms of who can potentially contribute on the bench this year? Yeah, no, it's it's been super competitive just so far. Starting last Monday, I think it was our first practice, and every day it's just been us going at each other, everyone. So I'm really as clueless as you guys are on who's going to play and stuff because we have, we have so much depth, and we have good young guys and a good mesh of old guys, and then we have transfers. And, Guys that are coming back, like Chris Hodges and Kamari and Isaac Lindsay and Carter Gilmore, that have all taken huge steps. So it's it's really competitive, and I'm curious to see as long as you guys. You mentioned the new guys that they brought in, AJ Storm being one of yeah. them. Yeah. I've talked to your teammates about this. I have to say he's Johnny Davis. Yeah. Really quite a club. Uh -huh. In terms of athletic ability, is he able to require some of the things Johnny did with athletic ability? Yeah, no, for sure. He's one of the best athletes I've ever seen in person. So. Just having him, and like I told you, just playing a little bit faster. He can get up and down the court. He played in the Big East. That's, they play fast out there, and he kind of knows how they play. And no, for sure, just having a, a different level of athlete on the team like that um, will be really helpful, both on offense and defense for us. Yeah. Obviously, you individually took a huge leap last year. You returned to a starting five. Yeah. What have you done to you know work on your game, expand your yeah. game to kind of fit with the returning group to chat? No, uh, like I told him, just trying to get a little bit stronger. I think that's not for me, just for everyone. Every year is trying to get a little bit stronger. And then, um, just living in the gym, trying to get that free throw and three point percentage up for me is the big thing. I'm um, trying to shoot a little better clip, um, which just requires getting on the gun, getting managers to come in and rebound, just living in the gym, which I think has really helped. And, uh, it's paid off so far and hopefully it translates. One of the biggest. Do you guys need to do a better job in post games this year? Yeah, you know, for sure. You know what the team record was two years ago. Was yeah, just... yeah, no, for sure. Um, just finding those certain sets and certain guys we can go to at the end of the game. Um, rather than uh, everyone puts, like, kind of, we don't just want to give it to Chucky every single possession, force him to make a play. Um, just having other guys that are able to do stuff or have different sets and just be more prepared in those situations. Um, could really help us this year, and uh, I think we will be for sure. I was say, you think this team will have more? No, for sure. Yeah, just that goes along with just being deeper. We'll have more guys, different guys. Hunter's a year older. Max is a year. Old. Everyone's a year older. So just having those guys that can step up at the end of the game and make a tough shot or make a make a play. Looking at last year, I mean, Tyler Wall obviously had the decision and eventually came back. Yeah. Were there any conversations between you guys kind of uh, in that in that kind of decision space? Did you give him space or what was uh, kind of the way After the season, we kind of gave each other all space, but we kind of knew what we had playing in the NIT and going a little, a little bit further than NIT. We kind of knew, like, if we bring it all back, something special could happen. So um, he made that decision on his own, and obviously we're all super happy he came back, one of the best players, one of the best leaders in the big match. So... Um, I think I think we all just kind of knew in the back of our heads what, what we could and what 
we do have. And with him returning, like like you said, everybody getting one year older, yeah. how do you think that that's just going to help with you guys gelling in the front court in mm -hmm. terms of your specific skill sets and mm -hmm. working together this year? Yeah, no, me and Tyler have been starting together for two years now, so this will be our third year starting together. We, we know how each other plays, and I think we're both trying to improve our jump shots, which can help help each other. So, um, and then just having that depth too, and not having to worry about, we can play a little bit more aggressive, not having to worry about, oh, there's no one behind us to play. We got Hodges, we got a couple other guys that are very versatile to play the four or the five. So, I think us as a big man group are really, are really doing good. Uh, appreciate you guys. Thank you, Steve.